Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing for you the full size Dior Le 30 Montaigne Holiday 2023 Advent Calendar. This retails for $7.50 and contains 24 fragrance, makeup, and skincare miniatures. Now for the diehard Dior beauty fans, they actually have another version of the Advent Calendar. It's the La Collection Privé Holiday 2023 Advent Calendar, and this one retails for $4,200. I actually opted to not buy either of these full-size advent calendars and instead I got the Dior Le Mini 30 Montaigne Discovery Set, which is basically a miniature version of their advent calendar. I've already unboxed this, but I just wanted to walk you through everything that is contained in the full size because if you get this mini advent calendar for $160, you pretty much get the vibe, you get the gist of the full size advent calendar, especially if you've been a fan of Dior and you've been purchasing from Dior Beauty throughout the years. I also purchased this Dior Minaudier lipstick clutch from their holiday collection. And if you have this, again, you have three full size versions of the samples that are included in the full size. So I will show everything that's contained in the full size. So with these two sets and everything else I've purchased from Dior over the years, I can show you exactly what is inside the advent calendar. Now this mini Montaigne set is a smaller version of the full size advent calendar, but the packaging and the aesthetic, the look is basically the same. You have a very heavy duty, white, sturdy cardboard box and it has the design of the 30 Montaigne flagship store in metallic gold. You have it all along the sides, you have it on the roof there, and then you have the metal Dior plate that opens this up to reveal the full-size Dior drawers. Now the full-size Dior advent calendar has 24 of these drawers and the drawers themselves are numbered with the days and it has 24 days this version has four, but everything that's in here is contained in the full size. So at the top, we have Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. The left drawer contains the J'adore Eau de Parfum. The bottom drawer is the Rouge Lipstick in the shade 999 in velvet, and it's their iconic bright red color. And then on the right, we have the Dior Prestige La Micro Wheel de Rose Advanced Serum. Now the description of the full size Dior Advent Calendar on the Dior website contains a full itemized list of everything that's included and it's grouped by category. So because I don't know what day has what, you know, product, I'm going to just go by category. So starting with fragrance, again, the Mini Montaigne contains the J'adore Eau de Parfum. Of all these J'adore flankers, this is the original. It's described as a warm floral and it has notes of ylang ylang, Damascus rose, and jasmine. Next is one of the newer J'adore flankers. This is the J'adore Parfum Do Eau de Parfum. And this has notes of Radiant Jasmine, Magnolia, and Neroli. This is a little sweeter than the original. And then the newest J'adore flanker is the J'adore Lore Essence de Parfum. This has notes of Orange Blossom, Rose, and Jasmine. I think this is the sweetest. You can see the difference with the packaging. The gold neck of the J'adore Lore is a solid metal, whereas the original one has little rings like necklaces. Moving on to Miss Dior, we have a Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. This has notes of Lily of the Valley, Centrifolia Rose, and a Soft Musk. By the way, the sizes of all of the mini fragrances so far are all 5 ml, except for the J'adore Lore, which is, I just realized, 3.5 ml. And you can see that it's a smaller size compared to the other mini. Next, we have the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet Eau de Toilette. This is also in the 5 ml size. This is described as more of a fresh floral and has notes of Damascus Rose, Peony, and White Musk. For men's fragrance, we have the Sauvage Eau de Toilette. This is an earthy, woody fragrance. It has bergamot, pepper, amber wood, and this is a 10 ml size. And then we get three deluxe Privé fragrances. These are the higher price point Dior fragrances, starting with Oud Isfahan. This is a 7.5 ml. This isn't my favorite, but if you love Oud, then you would like this. It's very musky. We have a 7.5 ml of Gris Dior. This is more of a clean, fresh fragrance, very neutral, maybe leans a little more masculine. And then one of my favorite Privé fragrances, this one smells like jasmine, it smells like orange blossom. It's very citrusy, like a very sweet citrusy. Again, for skincare, we have the Dior Prestige La Micro Wheel de Rose Advanced Serum. We get a 10 ml deluxe mini, and this is the same one that comes in the Mini Montaigne. Next for skincare is a 15 ml, so pretty hefty size, and the packaging is also very nice and chunky. I think this is the same one that I got from last year, so you can see the uh, writing has worn off. But this is the Dior Prestige La Creme. This is a 15 ml. You get the CD gold logo at the top, and I'll show you what this looks like. Very nicely protected. You have a gold foil cap and then another white cap here. 
This cream is just ultra hydrating, super smooth. I would say this is pretty thick. It's a very rich cream. For me, it takes a little bit of time for this to absorb fully, but afterwards my skin feels so nice and smooth. This is very pricey. It's part of their Dior Prestige skincare and you get a 15 ml. For this next one, I'm going to have to cheat a little bit because I don't have the exact one, but the size is the same. So you get a 50 ml. I have here the Dior Prestige La Mousse. This is a cleansing foam, but what you get in the advent calendar is the La Mousse Off On in the same 50 ml. That's also a cleanser. If you are familiar with the Chanel La Mousse cleanser, it's a similar texture. I don't know if I've tried the Dior La Mousse, but this prestige one, I feel like probably the same, but you get a 50 ml of that version in the full size. So this size in the La Mousse Off On cleanser. And then the final item of skincare you get is the Capture Total Less Serum. I have this in the full size 50 ml. In the advent calendar, you get a 10 ml of this. So if you imagine this Sauvage 10 ml fragrance, you get 10 ml of this Capture Total Less Serum. And just to give you an idea of what the serum looks like, the full size has a pump and then the serum itself is like a white lotion-y serum. It smells so good, so clean. This is what you put on after you cleanse your skin and before you put on your moisturizer and your facial oil. So I'm gonna leave this here, but you get 10 ml of this. Now moving on to makeup, again with the mini Montaigne advent calendar, you get the Rouge Dior lipstick in the shade 999 in their velvet formula. Again, it is their iconic bright red. And I like that even in the travel size, it still looks like a full size Dior lipstick. You got the Dior imprinted there. Very pretty bright red. And like I said, if you got the Minon DA lipstick clutch this year, you have three full size versions of the lipsticks that are included in, in the advent calendar. The same 999 shade that I just swatched is right there in the case. And then next up is the 100 nude look in matte. So this is what the refill looks like, but this is the full size and it is a very nice nude. This might be a little too nude for me. Oh, that still shows up. So like a pinky nude. And then 720 Icon Velvet. This is more of a rosewood. So I already started swatching in here, but this is what it looks like. So you can see it's still a very new, nice neutral color, but like a very deep neutral for me. And then next for makeup, we have a 7 ml of the Dior Verne in the shade 999. Again, the iconic red that matches the lipstick, but that is the Dior Rouge 999 in a little baby nail polish size. Now you get a second nail polish and the second shade is shade 108, which is a very pretty, like a ballet pink nude. I don't own that, but just to kind of show you what the color looks like, this is the Chanel La Base. So this isn't a nail polish, but imagine this like nudie pink ballet color looking nail polish in the same 7 ml size. And then the final makeup item, and I actually own this in the full size, you get a sample four gram size of the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl in the shade 90 black. And again, I have the full size of this, so I just personally didn't need another, you know, sample size. But this is what the full size looks like. It's the silver packaging. You have Dior right around here. And I'll show you what this looks like. This is the one where the wand is curved like that. So it has those little spiky bristles. These are really good for separating your lashes. So you get a travel size of this as your final makeup item in the full size Dior Advent calendar. So for lipsticks, three very wearable colors. Again, you get this one with the mini advent calendar. You get all three full size with the Minaudier lipstick clutch. And finally, we have the lifestyle category. Now I don't have three of the exact scents that they have in the advent calendar this year. But just to show you the size, we get three of these 35 gram Privé candles from the La Collection Privé Dior fragrances. And you can see the packaging is different. I think these are the older ones. It has a thinner like glass jar. And then the one that was contained in last year's, I think was this version. It's, it's a slightly thicker, but the weight is the same for all of them. It's 35 grams. I have here the 31 Tain, and then I have two of the same here. One of my favorites is Amber Nui. So I've already burnt that and then I recycled the jar, so I don't have that, but that's one of them that you get. I personally love these little votive candles. I light them throughout the year. It's my favorite. You get three of these. And then for their semi-grand finale, you have the 85 gram La Collection Privé Dior 
30 Montaigne candle. Obviously this is the one from last year and I even have the one from the year prior because I just love these candles. The packaging is different to match the theme for that year. This last year was like a celestial theme. It was a dark navy. This was the year before and then this year it will look like the same packaging white with the gold and it's a very nice candle. This is it compared to the 35 gram. I think this is actually the grand finale but I always consider the other item to be the grand finale and that is this year they give you a Christmas ornament and I'm pretty sure it's the same as this that I got last year again with the same packaging but the Christmas ornament that you get in the advent calendar this year is the Dior star and it has the gold string and then it has the design for this year so again this was the like astrology astronomy theme from last year this year I don't know it'll be a little different more like a florally scrolly motif etched into the gold solid on the back so this is very similar to the gold Dior charms that come with their if you purchase from the boutique you get this it's a little smaller but this was a charm I got last year. So this is what you get this year. Now I was a little bummed because, and I probably would have bought the advent calendar this year if they had what is my favorite thing to get in every advent calendar. And that is a snow globe. This is the Dior snow globe from, I don't remember, a couple years ago, they had this snow globe. These are my favorite. I love to collect these. Unfortunately, they don't have it this year, but that's okay. I have it from before. But if you get the Dior advent calendar this year, you get this little Dior Christmas ornament. All right, guys, that is my review of the full-size Dior advent calendar this year. Again, I opted to get just the smaller mini advent calendar. I have the Minaudier lipstick clutch, and through these two items, I have pretty much, what was it, seven things from the full-size advent calendar, and then just from throughout the years. And just because I love Dior, I have already full sizes of all the fragrances, full size of the makeup, full sizes of the lipstick, the skincare. If you don't own any Dior items and you're dying to try it out, or you're just a huge fan and you want the full size, you can refill the drawers this year, which I think is a bonus. It's definitely an option, but this is pretty much everything that is contained in the full size Dior advent calendar this year. Let me know what you guys think of the advent calendar, if you plan on picking it up, if you plan on picking up the smaller one, or the very fancy $4,200 version. I personally will not, but I look forward to seeing what you guys pick up this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this Dior Advent Calendar review. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!